All right, so I am back, and today we're going to go over my uh, viewer responses for my top 10 Transformers of the Year list. Um, so, uh, I guess first off, before we get out, get going, uh, on the uh, most recent Shattercast Uncut, uh, Lenny po pointed out that uh, I broke the Fans Toys bombshell, um, and, and as such, she shouldn't be penalized for my breaking him um well that's true but still there were other people that did break theirs broke too uh, moving them it, the problem was just how thin that was so but anyway i still think uh carrie galvatron and uh, uh make toys hound or just eh Carrying Galvatron for sure. Hound, I think Fantasy Toys beats the Hound, but but yeah, Carrying Galvatron, I still top ten, definitely, or er, top two. So anyway, all right, moving on. Uh, David Ag Agura, sorry, uh, don't own the top two, but I like the list. Uh, I agree with your comments on Hasbro's Galvatron. I also dislike the fact that it's a headmaster. Just like Power Master Prime, why does Hasbro feel the need to force characters into molds they shouldn't be? And for the folks who say that it, that is uh, Power Master Prime because it looks like him, I say bullshit. I think he looks okay, but no, he's not great. Jeff Perrin uh, says, won't type out a huge list, but out of the whole year, two figures I constantly pick up and transform are MP Bumblebee and Takar RC. I like their paint, style, ease of transformation, etc, etc. They're just fun little figures, and I really enjoy... Er, fun little figures I really enjoy the most. I have been uh, buying upgrade kits and older third-party figures, so they don't count. Uh, well, Sever does, but can't say he's my favorite. Wait a second. Although I don't transform him, Apollo just looks the part on the shelf... I look at him and forget he's third party figure uh, like I did just now. By the way, Happy New Year to you and everyone else watching and reading. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, the RC figure is a pretty good one. Uh, I never got the Tarkara one, but uh, I know the Hasbro one was pretty good. And the Bumblebee, of course, he, he's awesome. I mean, MP Bumblebee. No, he's not up to the standards of other MP cars. But he's a lot smaller than the other MP car, so I kind of, like, give it to him. Um, just, you know, that's why, that's why like, tracks I give a hard time, because it's like, he's the, he's bigger than the other MP car, so I would imagine the engineering would be better. But it wasn't. Uh, and Apollyon, uh, sorry, disagreement. I hate Apollyon, will always hate him. Uh, Sammy Turnage says, uh, my top 10 figures of 2015, 10 Combiner Wars are all Ultra Magnus, uh, 9 G Creations Growler, 8 G Creations Thunderous, 7 MP Exhaust, 6 MP Wheeljack, 5 Fans Toy Smart Robin, um, you know, I think you mean Fans Project, Smart Robin, uh, 4 MP Sound Blaster, I just got him this year. Three, not a Transformer at all. Star Wars Force Awakens TIE Fighter for the 6-inch Black Series. Um, two, DX9 uh, Tyrant Galvatron. And one, DX9 Carry Gal uh, Rodimus Prime. I gotta say, this uh, most of this list is thanks to reviewers like John and Emgo. I wouldn't have gotten most of these figures if it wasn't for John and his reviews. John, keep shining uh, in our darkest hour. Keep shining light in our darkest hour. So thank you. Um, that's that's what I try to do. Um, try to keep people from buying the crap and get the good stuff. But I know I can't always win. And difference of opinions. So that's why I always say there's a, there's a reviewer out there somewhere for everybody. Um, one, I mean, there's so many uh, reviewers out there. So there's always going to be, you know, there's going to be a number of reviewers you're not going to agree with. Like, especially with my top ten, top ten worst figures. Um, you know, I mean, not everyone's going to agree with me on that. I know that going into it. But, uh, there's going to be some people that do agree with that list. So, 
like I said, there's a reviewer out there for everybody. Everyone's got difference of opinions. And, you know, some people think uh, Scourge is an amazing figure. I didn't think so. So, some people... Nobody's wrong there. Unless, of course, you say the Lone Wolf figure is amazing quality. Uh, <laughs> uh, Jay Black says, Honorable mentions are DX9 um, Astro Train, Unique Toys Provider, uh, Masterpiece Ultra Magnus, and Shuriken 3 Dino Bot so far. Um... See, I only got one of the Shuriken, so I couldn't. I can't really weigh in too much. Thunderous was a pretty good figure. Uh, Ultra Magnus, I thought he was very lackluster for his size. Um, and Astro Train and Octane, I haven't gotten, so I, I, I can't. I can't quite mention those guys, but um, maybe someday. Matthias uh, Morcovus, uh, do keep in mind the the movie did not air until well into 1990s in Japan. So for them, it's not the 30th anniversary. Right. Um, and they just announced that it's it, they are celebrating the 20th anniversary of Beast Wars for Takara. So I, I think that's what we're going to see more of with uh, showcasing uh, MP Primal. Um, so hopefully we'll get more than just the one figure and reissues or something. Uh, Justin... Lennon, uh, I actually agree with you on most of the list regarding the things I own. Don't own the top two, though. You should. You should. Jay Black says, uh, at least for Transformers uh, that I don't own. Uh, but look, at, look to me like uh, they would make the list for sure. Giga Power Snarl, uh, DX Carry, MMC Sphinx slash Mirage. You know, I've got the... I got a Unique Toys uh, Mirage the other day. Um, it didn't come with instructions, so I'm trying to figure out how to transform the, the feet. But for me, I, I love that figure, so I'm, I'm kind of hard-pressed to see how MMC is going to be better. Uh, I'm sure it is. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure it is. But for me, I mean, I have my Mirage. I'm happy with him. Um, I know not everybody was, um, but... Um, I haven't reviewed him yet. That's why he's... And I just got him in right before I did the list. So it's like I didn't want to put him on a list that I... And I don't really know too much about him. But as as of right now, I'm, I'm really liking the figure. I think it's a pretty solid figure. A uh, little chuggish, but uh, I'm okay with it. Um, so it's like when MMC's reissue comes out, I'll probably do the giveaway for it. And then do the comparison with the two. Um... And then give away the uh, MMC one and keep keep the Unique Toys one. Because, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty happy with him. Anyway, uh, John Lance uh, says, DX9 um, uh, Astro Train and Abominus would have made the list if you had them. Honorable mentions for, for me, Leader Megs. Um, I, just, I didn't think Leader Megs... I like Leader Megs, don't get me wrong. But... It, it's one of those figures that's like, it's good, but it's not, it's not great. Um, you know, it's just, even with the upgrade, he, he, he's good. He's just not great. I mean, it, it's just kind of like, oh, he's cool. I mean, it did, this is what the standard Hasbro figure was back, you know, a few years ago. And it's like that, you know, so it's like, yeah, they finally make something good again. And it's just kind of like, it's like, yeah, it's, it's good, but it's not fifty dollars good you know if it was 20 bucks you know that would be worthwhile but that's a different argument for a different day uh nick sandwich game says uh a lot of great figures in there uh, and even though combined wars dev stories gets a lot of crap his combined mode is very solid uh it's been a great year for figures in my opinion my top five this year are tfc hercules make toys reflector combined wars bruticus generation toy in general uh, and MMC Feral Rex. Yeah, most of those are older figures, though. Uh, but, yeah. Six Thought Changer Reviews. Hey, JG, good list. I will be doing a top 15 of 2015 video to uh, mark my top bots of the year. To be fair, some of yours are on my list, too. Uh, I'll try to watch it. <laughs> I, I don't have that much time on YouTube, but I will try to watch your list when it comes out. Uh, if it's not already out, I don't know. But I'll, I'll try. I'll try. Um, Aaron 
Maurer says you should check out Fans Toys Galvatron. It looks amazing. Yes, it does. But it's still at least nine months away. At least nine months away. So, I mean, no, I'm not. I'm not I can't put him on my list until until he, you know, maybe he'll he'll top out my 2016 list, which would be really cool to have because I think uh, I think the Unique Toys Galvatron was on my list last year. Uh, now DX9 Galvatron's on this year, so with any luck. A uh, fan story is one for next year. Um, that'd be really cool to have Galvatron on my list three times in a row. Uh, yeah, it, it, he looks great, but I just... I need a Galvatron today. I don't need him nine months from now. Uh, <laughs> that's the way I feel about him. Uh, Mega Antonio says, Can you give us a top five Transformers reviewer on YouTube? I did that already. Um... um it was early last year, so things kind of changed a little bit. But yeah, uh, overall, number one on my list is Skullface. And number two is uh, uh, the Theo's Transformer reviews. Uh, just Skullface because he does a great job, and Theo because he's just hilarious. Um, and there's metal music in there, so... Um, after that, I, I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I kind of stopped watching him go. I'm just kind of... It's like it was, it, was, it, was, it was a good reviewer for a while for me. And then it was more like, okay, I watched the skits and those were funny. And now those aren't even that funny anymore. I'm just kind of like, eh. Debating on unsubscribing. Oh, Piog, of course, because he gets good stuff. But, uh... Anyway, that's just the top of my head. I know Braves Toys reviews are pretty good. Vangelis, of course. But yeah, my top top one is Skullface. It has been all last year. Will probably be all this year. Um, so, anyway. Uh, Math, Matthias Morcubus, uh my top ten uh, kind for kind of for me there is only one true number one and all others and the others all come in second unique toys abominus Pinax grimlock and sludge takara mp tracks and bumblebee takara unite devastator and superion hasbro cyclonus because i'm a movie figure whore uh, takara tf m4 black don't call me nemesis prime night prime and the winner is Takara's Masterpiece Star Saber. Uh, I have the Unite D Devastator on the way, actually. Uh, we'll be taking a look at him. Oh, in a week or so, I'm sure. Uh, I've got some other things to look at. Um, <laughs> I've got a lot of stuff to look at. <laughs> but um, lots, lots of stuff. All over the place now. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at Unite Devastator for sure. Um uh, not the Black Prime. I won't get him. And, and Master Star Saber, again, and not a character I was connected with, so it's not something I'm like, oh, I must have this. So, maybe. Uh, maybe we'll do, like, a giveaway or something like that for that, too. Uh, David Lin Shin says, John, I like the list. Uh, Bot of the Year goes to Warbitron Bruticus for me, personally. Yeah, they did complete it last year. I, I totally forgot about that. They had started it so long ago, though. <laughs> That's why. Uh, I'm very happy with the X9 Galvatron. Um, love Fantasy Toys Bombshell is sick. Uh, happy New Year, fellow collector. Um, 2016 is going to bring on Mini Masterpiece. Can't wait. Uh, I was also blown away by with Make Toys Gundog. Beautiful piece. Generation Toys blew me away with Scrapper and Mix Master. I'm looking forward to Fans Toys Reflector and Sludge, which is great for an early 2016 release. Uh, thanks for all the videos. Uh, you know, I'm not too thrilled about the Fans Toys Reflector, the way it's looking like it's a parts former. Um, I, I'm pretty happy with my Make Toys Reflector, so um, I might pick that up. I might not. I might do a giveaway so we can do a comparison, but I, I'm not I'm not 100% on that one. Um, just because I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with these guys. Uh I'm just I'm perfectly fine with it. Uh, 
Uh, Jay Black says, awesome, here's my top 10s, uh, more or less. 10, Hasbro Devastator, 9, Hasbro, Superion, and Minasaur with hands, feet, repper labels, and chest piece for Minasaur. 8, uh, Scourge, 7, Gravity Builder Scrapper, uh, 6, Bad Cube Insecticons, 5, Unique Toys uh, Abominus, 4, Warpatron Bruticus, 3, Galvatron, 2, Hound, and 1, Sever. That's a pretty good list. Uh, Nightwingdom1 says wings are wrong on carry. With the zip, the z Lenny saying, oh, are they? Well, let's take a look. Um, uh, looks like they're good to me. I don't understand what's wrong with them. Enlighten me if there is something wrong here. Um, but uh, it looks fun to me. So, moving on. Uh, Impossible Pie, uh, No Sun Surge, or Brawny. Uh, great list. I, ho I hope someday I can uh, pick up some of these third party figures. Uh, no Brawny because I didn't like the figure. Um, I didn't hate it, but it wasn't a favorite of mine. Not, no. Uh, the, the little clips on the wheels, if you watch my review on it, it broke. And I was very, very, very pissed off uh, that it broke. Um, very pissed off. Uh, Sun Surge, I haven't had yet. So, I, I can't I can't read something I don't have. So, uh, N1G2T3S4. My bad cube hypno suffered a broken antenna when he fell over. Glue work to fix him though. Uh, I'll have uh, I'll have to be mindful of my grenader head now gun now too, or grenader head now. Um, yeah, those little antenna they're 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 not so fun. Um, uh, Chris Ugg seventy eight U. Um, in no order, one, Fans Toys Soar, two, Fans Toys Sever, three, Make Toys Gundog, four, uh, DX9 Salmore. I think that's the, um, Psykill. Um, five, Fans Toys Tesla. Uh, see, that that was a figure I wasn't too overly thrilled with, but I think it's the character more than, than the figure. Uh, five, TFC Medic. Uh, haven't had him yet. Um... Seven X Transbots Andrus, even with the feet problem. Yeah, he won't be on my top ten list anytime soon. Um, eight Make Toys Reflector, that's a good one. Nine War Patron Bruticus, and ten Fans Toys Bombshell. Good list. Uh, MA 70 year. John, did you go back to MMC for your Predacons? Uh, I've seen your comparison and individual reviews for the unique toys set. And I'm really close to getting them to go along with my Combiner Wars set. Uh, the answer is yes, I am trying to go back to MMC's uh, Predacons. Uh, it's kind of a slow going for me just because I have my funds pooled other places. Um, but I got Razor Claw. I'm going to get the other four when I can. I got, I got um, the Foul Saber, whatever you call them. I got him sitting over my to be reviewed shelf. I'm probably gonna hold off on reviewing him until I have the other four, uh, so I can do the whole thing with him. But um, but yes, uh, I did get him. Now, as far as unique toys go along with the Combiner Wars set, he's perfect. He's a perfect figure. I, I, I gave mine away, uh, but he is the perfect figure. I, in my opinion, the perfect figure to go with Combiner Wars. Uh, he's still big and bulky, uh, but the individual bots would scale, um, do scale nicely with Combiner Wars figures um, when they're not combined. So that that's where I would, uh, that that's where my money would be. Plus, you can get them for three hundred dollars shipped from like TF Source and Big Bad Toy Stores, um, or not shipped from Big Bad Toy Store, but TF Source and such. Um, but yeah, it's like under three hundred dollars for them and. Uh, so you save two hundred dollars from the other other two companies. The TFC one I wouldn't buy. Um, NFC one's still worth it, but that's they're a little bit too big for Combiner Wars, I think. Um, so 
but yeah, uh, Unique Toys, if you're going full on Combiner Wars, Unique Toys is perfect for you. Um, I, th I think he goes along just perfectly. Um, uh, all right, uh, Nerdius, uh, my favorite of the year are Combiner Wars Superion, Combiner Wars Ultra Magnus, MP Star Saber, and my absolute favorite is Make Toys Chrome Dome. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to pick up Make Toys Hound yet, but I'm pretty sure he will complete my top five of this year. He will. <laughs> uh, maybe you could do top ten Transformers you look forward to in 2016 as your next Rants of the Week. That's a good idea. I have a, I have a few good ideas for Rants of the Week. Um, that's that's going to be on that. Uh, to Tulula, uh, my top ten this year. Uh, ten Legends Windraiser. He, he's uh, unbelievably posable for his size, and he's got such an impressive uh, monster mode. Okay, I'm trying to picture him. Windraiser. Is it one of the Terracons? Uh, nine Iron Factory Maiden uh, Windblade. She's an adorable little fembot with great plastic and paint job. With my only complaint being her lack of heels. Takara Legends Whirl. Um, all I can say is the mold is freaking perfect as a G1 world. Um, I even bought the Hasbro stickers to deck him out further. Seven Legends Bombshell. He's just so nice to play with. Yes, he is. Um, my only real complaint is lack of head articulation. Even with that size, it doesn't matter, I don't think. <laughs> um, six Cybertron Deep Dive. Um, this will sound rather strange, but my number seven pick is a Minicon. Um, I wanted this guy for almost three years, and he's, without a doubt, my favorite little robot to mess with. I'll have to look him up. Uh... Five Legends Cosmos. Simply put, a masterpiece uh, of a Scout class figure. Uh, only thing I would fix is the fact that his head is painted rather than being cast in red and yellow. Four Energon Dive Bomb. I wanted this figure for, oh well, probably my entire childhood. So it's so sweet to finally have him in hand. Uh, he's just in the same toy uh, for his time. Yes, the yes, Energon Dive Bomb, great figure. Perfect. Um, might want to look into possibly the BotCon exclusive laser beak and buzzsaw. Uh, I, I'm not sure what the prices are these days, but uh, if you can pick those guys up, just because the dive bomb's awesome, so you might want to pick up a couple more uh, in different colors. Just, just an option. Just throwing that out there. Okay, three Kiss Players Auto Trooper. Uh, Kiss Player is a curiosity for me. I wanted a figure from this line for a while now, and this guy, this guy, he's my favorite alternator. Uh, and needless to say, I was pretty blown away. The detail in alt mode is just insane, and all around, all, and and all rounded off with a pretty damn good robot mode uh, for its time. Uh, Seamus st stickers were such hot trash, though. Two, Mastery Star, Star Saber, even though I've mentioned how disappointed I was with the with him, he's still Star Saber, and he is still a gigantic beast of a figure. I can't say no to any Star Saber. Number one, Super Robot Chogan Might Gain. This is not actually a Transformer, nor does it transform, but it's still somewhat related to Transformers, and it's hands down the best toy I've ever had the pleasure of owning and playing with. Every single piece, every single joint, every single paint app feels just feels so perfect. With just the right amount of die cast and plastic mixed in there. Um, the posability is insanely good and he's just so damn nice to hold as well. This figure is my de definition of perfect. Awesome. No idea what you're talking about, but awesome. <laughs> Everyone needs to have that one figure that's the definition of perfect. Perfect. For me, it's MP10. Um, that, that's the closest thing I can think of off the top of my head is that I would consider a perfect figure. Um, but everyone needs to have that one perfect figure. Um, to, you know, whenever you get stressed out, you can go back and look at it and just be like, you know what? That's why I'm in this game. <laughs> you know, that's why I'm a collector. Uh, a few other things I got this year, which I've enjoyed as well. Legends Commander Leo Convoy. 
Um, probably the most show accurate version of a character, but the lion mode is just, well, shit. Uh, Legends Power Glide, a good figure with uh, just a few too many minor things keeping it from my list. Cl Kiss Player's Convoy Optimus, uh, a really, a really bad figure to be honest. It's Alternator's so I'll, I'll Optimus model. Eesh. If he hadn't broke on me, he'd probably make it on this list just for my addiction to co of convoys. Super Robot Kojin J. Decker, also an amazing figure, uh, but I don't want to make my list uh, have them both there. Uh, plus, he's not as amazing as Mike Gain. Oh, and um, yeah, I for I got Fortress Maximus. Why is he not on the list? He's too big to fit. Awesome, dude. <laughs> Uh, the Decepticon says, fuck yeah, all hell Megatron. Of course. Who doesn't? Or Galvatron. Not Megatron, fuck. It's been a long day. Uh, but yeah, who doesn't hell Galvatron? You have to, otherwise you turn into dust. Um, uh, Ronald Van Der Vale says, sorry too fast. I'm sure that will come back later. Um, uh, N1G2 T3S4 says, I'm pretty easy to please, so narrowing it, uh, narrowing a list of favorites down to 10 figures is pretty difficult. This was a very good year for collecting, with so many great figures being released. Here's hoping 2016 will wind up just being, uh, as difficult to choose 10 favorites. Yes. Uh, 10, uh, X Transbots Andreas. Although I was somewhat disappointed with Apollyon, Andrus surprised me with how great he looks and how much better his quality seems to be. I don't seem to suffer the headaches of the experience with the feet. Me. <laughs> uh, so transforming was very easy and satisfying. I'm looking forward to X Transbot's re rendition of Cyclonus. Nine, Fans Project uh, Volare. Volare seems to have corrected a lot of the issues I had with the previous two figures in the line. He gives me hope for the remaining members will be very satisfying. Providing two torsos in the same box uh, for buyers to choose from is a great fan service. Uh, you know, that figure got a lot of shit, but I really did like him. Uh, eight, Bad Cube Brawny. Uh, this figure just nails that masterpiece look. I love the transformation mechan mechanic of the torso. Seven, uh, Takara Masterpiece Tracks. Despite some nitpicky dislikes, Trex continues to Kara's ability to scratch the G1 itch for me in their Masterpiece life. Plus, the covert mode is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, and the card was pretty good looking. Six, Mastermind Creation Sphinx. This is a great start to their Masterpiece line. Five, Fans Toys Grenader. I was surprised on how hefty this guy feels. Yeah, I think that guy is heavy. Uh, the transformation is fun and satisfying. Four, Generation of Toys Scrapper and Mixer. I would be disappointed if they didn't complete Devastator, but I would be at least have two individual figures. Plus, it's always nice to find a new company worth buying from. Three, Gigapower Gutter. Tower over MP MP Twin MP Ten Optimus Prime. Hack. Uh, I have a hard time talking all of a sudden. Uh, Gutter makes it makes me so excited to complete the set of dinos for my masterpiece shelf. That's the one thing I, I am very concerned about is if they will complete. Um, cause they've got one figure out in two versions and it's just like, that's, that's the thing that's keeping me from jumping full on board with them. Um, that's why I don't have any dinos at the moment because I can't decide which one to go with fans toys or giga power. It's like, I don't know about giga power just cause I don't know if they're going to finish. I hope they do. Two DX9, Carrie and Tyrant. These two figures surprise me on how much I love playing with them. Uh, they look great and have satisfying transformations. And number one, Planet X Vulcan and Quanarus. I hate third party names. I mean, Jesus Christ, come on, just name him T Rex number one and uh, shit. I mean, seriously. <laughs> uh, the sense of satisfaction of being able to complete this set is hard to describe. Although, Summonus, see, there we go again, had issues, uh, this group. Is a uh, is the pride of my collection. As robots or dinosaurs, they look absolutely fantastic. Um, all right. Seven uh, T G M twenty three says, uh, for consideration, 
of honorable mention, MMC Mirage, good paint, die cast, rubber tires, solid plastic, and a parachute. Fans Toys Perceptor, uh, great quality plastic, G1 accurate. Uh, Toys R Us Starscream, great mold, negative points, has sprue marks, but for $60, hell yeah. War Dog accomplices mass shifting from alt mode to bot mode. Could have used more paint. Uh, I can't see both versions of the Insecticons on the list. Fans Toys is the best representation, so that makes bad cubes obsolete. I like Carrie, but he is somehow too angular. Uh, he should be more smooth and rounded like Galvatron. Alright, uh, Raven Fell Blade, uh, 6 Hasbro Devastator. Who knew Hasbro could actually make a good combiner again? Uh, it's still, uh, I wouldn't put it good. I, had I remembered Bruticus came out this year, uh, or if it was finished last year, I, I probably would have bumped him out, <laughs> to be honest. Um, sure, the individual figures range from suck to barely doesn't suck. Uh, but the vehicle modes are fun little chunks of green construction equipment. And Devastator pays it off uh, quite nicely with a solid, um, competent, uh, giganto combiner. Props to Hastat. Uh, five, Toy World Evil Evil Star. Uh, I love Triple Changers, I love Astro Train, and I love this figure. His alt mode is great, his robot mode is, uh plenty poseable once you work out how the ankles work and he just looks and he just looks and feels great i had him i sold him like right after i got him uh just because i had to um so never really got a chance to play with him so for fans project function x8 crocs uh he's a headmaster he's a he's in he's in fun little croc co Robo. And he's a pretty excellent figure. Enough said. Three X Transpods Apollyon. This isn't a perfect figure. I know that going into him, uh, which is has allowed me to enjoy him for what he is. A flawed but still visually excellent masterpiece scaled representation of G1 Megatron. Uh, mine has a few issues, but he is overall satisfactory. See, that, that right there irritates me. Not not about what you're saying, but about the company. It's just like, you shouldn't be like, go into a figure knowing that it's going to be flawed and just accepting it as a satisfactory figure. For $165, you should go into a figure being like, this is a great figure. You know, Carrie, I, I don't go into Carrie thinking, well, he's satisfactory. Uh, no, he's a great figure. You know, Chrome Dome, great figure. Optimus Prime, great figure. Not satisfactory. I mean, that that irritates me about stuff like that. Anyway, moving on. Uh, he's actually fun to transform once you get over being terrified of breaking him. Another thing I don't like. <coughs> His robot mode is the most perfect we've ever seen in a transforming, transformable figure, and is quite fun to pose. Uh, his gun mode, while oversized, is also quite a bit of fun. As Theo said, the first time I transformed him into a gun and put all of that the accessories on, I found myself carrying him around with a uh, Chichanian Hitman face on. Dos Vadania. I'm having a hard time saying some of these words. To make toys cupola. Uh, I love Headmasters. He's especially had a soft spot for... I've especially had a soft spot for Chrome Dome. Because, let's face it, he turns into a DeLorean time machine from Back to the Future. I love the transformation scheme, uh, the use of the die cast, and pretty much everything about this figure except his ankles. Uh, the style of the figure is pretty cool. And, and some nice articulation that allows you to pose him... Uh, while he's driving. As a bonus, the car seats two. So now you really need a headmaster buddy or a mini hoverboard to, to put in the passenger seat. Agreed. One, MMC Narrow Rex. There's another thing I didn't get this year. I wish I did. Uh, uh, this set is all of the amazing qualities of Pharaoh Rex, but ditches the Reese's Pieces deco for a much sexier black, purple, and metallic blue ensemble that just ramps the awesome off the charts. 
Uh, this is the centerpiece of my collection, and I love each and every detail about all five figures. Their accessories, their combined mode, and the bonus accessories. If you don't own a version of the Feral Cons, you can't go wrong with the Nero Cons. I'm, I'm planning on getting them. Uh, Ronald Vander v v Veldy. Uh, where's number seven? That's what he meant earlier, but uh, too soon. All right. Uh, Kevin Horn, uh, 10, Combined Wars Devastator, 9, um, Andrus, uh, Scourge, besides Transformation, I love the figure, um, 8, Combined Wars Bruticus plus Shockwave, um, 7, Planet X Vulcan, 6, Carry, 5, Tyrant, 4, Provider, 3, Combined Wars Megatron, uh, Two Quake Wave reissue. Does that count? I would say that counts. Why not? And one Warbatron Bruticus. Uh, Grant Mariner. Uh, these are my personal top 15 of 15. One uh, G1 Stalker. Two San Diego Comic Con 2014 Strife. Three Prime RID RC. Four Fall Cybertron Shockwave. 5, Age of Extinction Drift, 6, Beast Wars Wolf Fang, 7, GDO Hotspot, 8, Combiner Wars Hotspot, uh, 9, Combiner Wars Leader Skywarp, 10, Combiner Wars Dead End, Generations Windblade, Generations Nightbeat, GDO Power Dive, Universe Blaster, and 15, Revenge of the Fallen Sideswipe. Uh, Jason Rennes says, many of those came out before 2015, lol. Uh, yeah, a lot of them did. But, hey, if you just got them in 2015, who cares? Uh, Black Hole Ultron says, There's been a Twitter thing going around where for a couple years now where you just list the top figures you acquired during the year, regardless of release date. Uh, last year was top 14 of 14. This year's top 15 of 15. Next year will be top 16 of 16. Um, but actual release dates has no bearing on it. A bunch of reviewers did it last year, uh, but I don't know if if any have done it this year. In that case, I'm going to change my list and make number one Hooligan. G2 Hooligan. So, there you go. G2 Hooligan is now the best figure of that I acquired in 2015. Because I got him at BotCon. So, there you go. Uh, Six Shot Changer also uh, replied to it them um correct uh i will be doing the same uh will be my third year participating so there you go my new top 10 list has been changed to top 11 and number one is g2 hooligan sorry galvatron but hooligan wins because he's orange and awesome and just i love him he's my favorite <laughs>